Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In this video, we are going to discuss 28 nanometer layout methodologies and how to do the 28 nanometer basic layouts. So let's start the video. So this schematic is just a normal P driver schematic uh, which is used for uh, uh, Sardas. So this is a normal P drive unit which is created in 28 nanometer technology. So in this circuit we have a two differential pairs one is like M50 and one is like M51. I am not going to complete the entire layout of this uh, P driver. I am just going to complete only the diff pair unit. I will select these two devices and I will generate only these selected devices here. So all the devices are p-channel MOSFET devices, okay. So all the devices are having four multipliers and as well as four fingers. So our source terminal is by default shared with uh, common net. So what, what we have right now, this is our two differential pair unit. One is like uh, this is our first pair of diff pair and this is our second pair of diff pair. So what we have to understand about 28 nanometer. So the moment when you generated 28 nanometer or the moment when you started doing the layout in 28 nanometer initially there is no difference in uh, 40 nanometer and 28 nanometer the only one difference is here we have a dummy poly here so whatever it is here these two green layers are which is highlighted here so these two layers are our dummy poly devices by default all the 28 nanometer technology devices have this dummy poly left and right so most people are getting confused with this kind of uh, matching technique so generally this dummy is not mandatory for matching only at the left and right of the boundaries you have to keep the dummy that's all that's the one drc rule is there it is not mandatory to keep all the dummies within the matching pair so you can keep the dummies only in the left and right of the paired unit so right now in our schematic we have a device so let me select this so whatever the bottom device so these devices are A device and the top devices are like B device. So totally A and B two devices are there. So once you generated the chained device, see actually in between these two devices, actually we have this is our first multiplier and this is our second multiplier. So in between these first and second multiplier, we don't have a dummy poly layer. That's what the 28 nanometer <laughs> layout technology okay so when the moment when you merge these source source terminal and source terminal we don't want the, those dummy device okay only the left and right of these two pairs okay only the left and right of these two pairs we should keep dummy that's what our drc and also top side we have one more four pair of device let me select the device and again i'm going to generate as a change generated link just select apply then keep the device here so that's all so the moment when you started doing generated chain device see actually you don't want dummy while you merging the two multipliers or n number of multipliers you don't want dummy here so just left and right corner only you have to keep these dummies so that's all so after generating these devices if you want to do some pattern yes of course you can move the device Yes, of course you can up and down you can move the device so the moment when you separated the device from the group see by default your poly will be activated here okay this is the one way we can disable this poly and we can go for the uh, merging purpose uh, there is there is a one more way to disable this poly permanently okay so the way is first you have to select the device okay i am just selecting two device just click q and you will get the device parameters so in this device parameter go to the property of the device you will find some options called layout related parameters so hope you can able to see here the layout related parameters are here just turn it on the moment when you turn down the layout related parameters you will get um, multiple options see you have a left dummy poly right dummy poly secondary dummy poly and secondary left and right dummy polys so just disable all this so after disabling these all devices just click apply and come to your layout see your left and right dummy polys are disabled 
okay so there are two different ways the okay so you can go with the chain read generated links also that's the easiest way to disable the dummy poly primary dummy poly and secondary dummy poly the one more option is going to the property of the device okay just go and just queue and go to the property of the device and you may you will you can see the layout related parameters so here you can you can able to see the layout related parameters just turn it off all the layout related parameters only poly related layout related parameters not other layout related parameters so after completion of this so what the 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 way what we have followed in the previous layouts in 40 nanometer or 65 nanometer or 180 nanometer so whatever it is right the same method only you are going to follow here so okay there is no different approaches are there so we have to only concentrate on our dummy layers okay so left and right we have a dummy layers so these dummy layers we have to remove apart from this we don't have uh, more constraints in 28 nanometer only the dummy poly matters so after that just select all the device go to generated chained device okay so we have a option here just click apply and then keep the device so either you can enable and disable all the uh, dummy polys in the pro property of the device also and you when you started merging these two devices when you started merging these two devices by default when you started merging these two devices by default your dummy poly will be disabled automatically okay so this is the this is some options are there in the 28 nanometer the next step is creating the poly contact so that's what initially after merging all the devices we will blindly go for the creating of the poly contact so in 28 nanometer and as well as in 65 90 whatever technologies are there manually don't place the poly via here so there is there are two ways to place the poly via one is like you can click o okay so at the moment when you click o automatically you will get the uh, we will get the via option okay so when you click o then you will get this via option so go to single via or stack via whatever it is okay if you want single via go to single via or if you want stack via go for stack via okay but this is time consuming process okay the easiest way to create poly contact just select your device okay so now i am selecting all my devices just q you will get the we will get the device parameters okay just select all the devices here all the instance here and go to the parameter of the device same you can able to see some options here layout related parameters okay just turn it on we have multiple devices here each and every devices are having different different parameters so don't touch this dummy poly secondary dummy poly and primary dummy poly don't touch anything here just come down and here you can able to see some option root poly dir so just what you have to do select this option then you may get three options one is like top and one is like bottom and one is like both if you select top and if you select apply see by default all of your devices will get poly contact in the top side so just i'll show you see top side all of your devices automatically m1 to m2 via so by default the pdk will create the by default the tool will create the poly contacts to you so you don't want to place the contacts manually here only for the poly contact see bottom side also poly contacts are created with only with the poly with the m1 not with m2 but top side it is automatically created poly and as well as m1 and as well as m2 okay so automatically all the devices poly is already uh, poly contacts are already generated okay so this is the one way so we have multiple options here let me show you all the options so same come to the device parameter okay go to the layout related parameter so you may see these options see poly dir so this is the poly directional routing okay so poly directional routing whether you want top side or bottom side or both side okay so as of now i am just going to click only top side and then come down one more option you can able to see here that is called poly contact so just by default this will be enabled if you start enabling this poly dir so this poly contact will be automatically enabled and then where you want poly contact whether you want top side or whether you want bottom side see just if you keep top side instead of keeping both side just enable only top side and click apply and come down and see see you may see only the poly contacts in the top side bottom side the m1 contacts to poly will be automatically removed okay this is what the settings okay just select the device and go to the device parameter select all the devices because however we are going to create uh, poly contact to all the devices so just select all the device and go to the parameters and select layout related parameters okay so just layout display layout related parameters okay just turn it on and then come down you may see some options 
so see poly dir options whether you want top side bottom side so just now i am going to click on the both side okay and then here we have a poly contact right so this should be also in the both side so just take a try here uh, try to keep a multiple options here okay it's like a multiple iterations so try from your end and see the difference how it is reflecting here okay just apply and okay so when you come to the layout right see both the top and bottom we have a poly contacts with m2 because we have selected the option for both okay poly contact dir is also both and poly contact is also both so that's why top and bottom we are getting poly contact routed that is our nothing but our poly via okay gate connected via okay so after this uh, we have a multiple options also in 28 nanometer so when you go to the layout related parameters so you may get some options see source and drain routing if you want source and drain routing see just enable source so all the source will be automatically connected just click apply and then just come here and see all the source see there are some overlaps are there okay but all the source are connected here so just i'll move a single device and i'll show you the difference so this generally we don't prefer to use okay because this will create lot of drc problem because see here all the source are by default connected with the m1 metal but you know we don't prefer this uh, source and drain connection with the layout uh, related parameters generally we don't use this okay so poly and uh, what other connections we should use only uh, manually we have to place the source and drain connection don't always go for the automatic connection for source and drain okay just i wanted to show you we have options in the layout related parameters see these options you may get available into uh, these options may be available in uh, 180 and 65 and other technologies also but i have never used in those technology nodes okay only in 28 i can i am able to see these options okay with my pdk and i think i am getting these options in 28 i think you may get these options in 40 and 65 also just try from your end if you are a layout engineer just try these options okay so in this way only we are going to create a poly contacts to instead of wasting your time easily you can create poly contacts here suppose if you don't want your poly contact with the m2 just if you want only with the m1 so what you have to do just disable this poly dir option okay just simply disable this poly dir and only create poly contacts only create poly contacts in the both side and just apply and then come to your layout and see you don't see the m2 layers here okay because poly dir only will create m2 layer poly contact is different okay poly contact is just like a poly to m1 metal but poly dir is completely different which which is creating m2 layer upon this our m1 layer okay so we have those options in 28 nanometer so after i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button